Good morning and welcome to today's coffee, well RC coffee chat. So grab yourself a cup up, belt up, and uh, we are today going to be having a full run through of the Hobby King models. So up on my screen, in fact let's jump across the screen and we'll have a nose through. So uh, these are going to be my personal opinions on some of these models. Uh, if you've got any opinions on any of these, do let me know in the comments section. Uh, underneath this video so yeah rubber band not really that interested in uh, I tell you what I did notice this one's on pretty much half price at the moment and let me go and open this one up and I did I know it's made out of balsa but can you hear the weather out right there at the moment it's absolutely tipping it down and we're gonna we're supposed to start in late well it'll start in the autumn well, we're in the 14th of October so yeah we got the winter coming so Maybe something which could be flown indoors for 12 quid plus a couple of, well, I think that's going to be like two servos. Uh, yeah, happy days. Yeah, it's a curious one, that one. Uh, so super cheap, and I'm not really a big fan of balsa models, uh, but for 12 quid, could be fun. Just giving my honest answers here. I'm just, with the weather on turning at the moment, I'm just thinking it would be nice to fly indoors because... I know Andrew, uh, his club fly indoors on a Friday, and also one of my other club, uh, sorry, one of, I'm a member of a couple of clubs, and uh, one of the other clubs has got a sports hall which they use as well. So, yeah, that's kind of a curious one. Uh, the Glue and Glow, uh, Glue and Go series of foam ball models, they, I, I remember the day that they were added to the Hobby King database and I, I put an order in on that day and I ummed and ahed whether I should get one or not because they were about 12 quid at the time uh, and I've never seen them in stock ever since. So yeah, a bit of a shame. They did look alright, the little, little uh, canards as well. They did look like fun so yeah, just never been in stock. And then there's another little indoor flyer, uh, mini stick. Uh, the sticks do fly quite well. I've not, I've not seen that one fly. Uh, and look, there's another foam board one. And no surprise, uh, it's in back order as well. Uh, I did Umanar about this one, but then I decided that it was pretty ugly. And um, it was made out of a... It was a kit and I couldn't be bothered to put it together. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know. If you like making models uh, out of bolster, then that probably is a good value quit kit for 20 quid. Oh, Mini Skywalker, absolutely spot on. I, I think you all know what I think of the Mini Skywalker, which is that it's a Uh And yesterday I went up to one of the flying sites, uh, and I, I'm, I'm still suffering from some lurgy. And I, I drove 20 minutes to get to the flying site. I was there. I had a chat for about 15 minutes to one of the guys which was there. Uh, he left, and I did about 30 minutes. I, I just didn't have the attention span yesterday. Uh, but one of the models which I did fly uh, was the Mini Skywalker. Uh, great little model, even though it was rather windy up there and it was struggling quite a bit. And I had to fly with a good half uh, throttle for most of the time to cut through the air. Uh, is that, yeah, that one, little Mini Skywalker was really, really good fun. Uh, I've never seen that one before. Well, I wouldn't even personally consider that one. Uh, that combat slope soaring wing, uh, I had one. Uh, and I can tell you, it was utter pants. I Honestly, it was utter pants. I gave it away to Andrew in the end. Uh, he powered. Um, I never did try it unpowered, to be frankly honest. But in its powered mode, it was a bit of a flappy bird uh, in the air. So, yeah, save yourself 20 quid. Don't buy one of those. Uh, yeah, I'm not like, look at that. I'm just never going to waste 20 quid on a model like that. Ho oh, the Hobby King Bonsai. Well, to be honest, it's the Turnergy Bonsai, not a, a Hobby King. Anyway, uh, Bonsai, absolutely brilliant model. If you've not come across one of those before, uh, have a look on my YouTube channel. You know, there's uh, countless videos of those. They can be underpowered, they can be overpowered, and everywhere in between. They are really, really good fun. Uh, same for the Nutball. Am I really going to pay 22 quid for a bit of foam? Are you going to pay 22 quid? For a bit of foam probably not uh two more indoor flyers uh this one oh it's an indoor one it's i don't know i, I think i'd go for the cheaper one because the chances of me smashing it up are quite high uh, i did just check the video out on this one and by the way if you didn't know this let me open that one up in another tab uh 
Uh, and uh, this one looks like a new product which has come onto Hobby King. Uh, it's called the Hobby King Old Eagle Sports. Uh, and you click on this uh, where it says watch the daily. If you click on that corner, uh, it will pop up a video and you do get to actually see it. But to be honest, look how thin that foam is. One or two bad landings and it's going to be a, hmm, a mess. So, uh, yeah, I'll pass on that one. Uh, the Hummer EPP 3D plane, absolutely brilliant model. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it's definitely not a first model and I'd also class it probably not as a second model either. And the reason why I'm saying it's not a very good first or uh, definitely not a good first model because it's just too skittish uh, and a second model not the best idea because this whole nose area here is uh, really really soft uh, but for construction it takes about 40 minutes to about an hour uh, if i built mine again i would uh, probably use epoxy to put the sides on uh, yeah because i used ca last time and that was a bit of a struggle whereas next time around if i did have another one in front of me right now i would use epoxy all the way on the sides uh, and I'd also make a balsa nose for it from the very beginning as well because this front area uh, is not particularly... I'm, I'm going to give it its due. It did manage to survive a couple of uh, unscheduled landings. But, uh, yeah, I would balsa the nose up. So put a piece of balsa on either side of the nose area and bring it round just past the uh, landing gear. Also, the hinges for the uh, rudder are absolutely diabolical. Make sure you get some of those plastic ones as well. Uh, they only give you these paper things. Get Make sure you get the plastic ones with the pin down the middle. Uh, they cost like a quid for 10 or whatever, uh, and it'll make uh, the rudder uh, a far superior surface. Uh, besides that, yeah, really good model. Yeah, again, I've got video footage of that one flying around um, on my YouTube channel. Great fun definitely worth 27 quid uh, i think i bought mine for 18 quid in a sale or something like that it wasn't that much um yeah really really good model and it's behind me uh in the office uh the part jet 2 speed wing I i've heard other people rate this one i've just never pushed myself to spend 27 quid uh, on one myself uh, and we'll get to the reason why in a few moments time uh there's another indoor one yeah, it looks kind of fun. Yeah, I, I'm just thinking of the winter uh, for it. Uh, the X1 flying wing. Yeah, it's another flying wing. I, what would I rather have? I'd rather, rather have a wing wing, to be honest. Uh, the 3D EPP. Now, I've seen one like this. I don't think it was exactly the same one uh, being flown by one of the lads up at the mo uh, one of the model sites. And it flew really, really well. But it is... Uh, you do need to class yourself as a intermediate to good pilot uh, to uh, really get your money's worth out of something like this uh, because it is fragile and it will not take a unscheduled landing very gracefully. So, yeah, models like that are definitely really good fun. Uh, but, yeah. yeah, enough said on that one. Uh, the Sunbird Glider, I, I'm just not going to build something out of balsa, to be honest. Uh, I know many of you would like building models out of balsa, but for me, no. I just want to fly. All right? it, it, you've basically got three uh, uh, types of modeler. You've got somebody who likes to design and build. You've got modelers who like to fly. And unfortunately, we all have the third category, which is the repair category as well. Uh, so for me personally, I'd rather just fly rather than build. Uh, the ME109, now I've seen this one and there's other versions of this like the SBAC uh, and there's another couple of them as well. Uh, the bit which sets this one apart is that basically it's a Hummer 3D uh, with a slightly different designed fuselage. But do note, I don't know if you can tell this, yeah look, the difference between this and say the Hummer 3D and also the cheaper models which are like this is the sheer thickness of the fuselage area uh, it is like it's like a i want to say like a good inch thick uh for the main fuselage so yeah you do get the money's worth for the extra couple of pence on them uh so yeah really really good fun to fly just like the hummer 3d uh that's for sure what else have we got in here big stick 
mm, balsa, not like to fly it or buy it or fly it. Uh, Teximo, absolutely brilliant model. Uh, we did that uh, again. There's several of these models which we've been and done uh, in the models which you could buy for 50 quid or less. Teximo, fantastic model. And remember, any views which you've got any on on any of these models which I've gone not likely to buy or build that one. So if you do have the big stick laser cut balsa kit and have built it and have really enjoyed it, do let me know in the comments section underneath this video. Uh, the same goes for the Red Swan laser cut balsa kit. Not likely to be buying that myself. Have you bought it? What do you reckon of it? How easy was it to build? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Sir. In the comments. Uh, not like to do Hobby King extra glue and goat foam. Oh my god, it's in stock. But am I likely to want to fly a piece of foam board round, which is just underneath a meter in a 3D plane? Not likely. Uh, and the reason for that is because it won't last. In short, uh, Wing Wing Z84 that was featured in last night's episode uh, on the models which you can buy for underneath 50 quid. Uh, holds a very special place with me. Fantastic model, definitely worth the money, uh, and you should definitely get one. Uh, that's my basic summary of a Wing Wing Z84. I really, really do like them. Uh, now, the, these Depron models are getting a bit expensive for what is a bit of foam. Hmm. Never seen one of those fly, to be honest. Never likely to uh, own a nut, uh, nut ball. Uh, oh, these ones, these um, belter trike. Now, I've seen people fly fly these, and they're rather weird. Because it's got like, um, well, I don't know if it's that one exactly, but it's got a big parachute canopy, and it just flies off. It's rather weird. Rather weird indeed. Uh, I've never seen that one fly, but then again, we are, it's... I don't know what it, even what it is. Excuse me. Let's have a quick nose. Oh, foam board. Yeah, that'll last them mm, two minutes. Uh, and uh, it's not even in stock, so let's not waste our time with that one. Uh, that's like a Cessna. So any high-winged model is going to be a good model to like start with. Generally, uh, I, I would say that's true. Um, in fact... To be honest, if you're looking for a model to start with, the AXM would be a lot better because the motor's not on the front. So when you do stuff it in the ground, which you have to be completely honest with yourself if you're uh, very much a newbie pilot, uh, yeah, go for something like the AXM Cloud Surfer instead. Uh, much, much be better value for money. I'm not even going to comment on that one or that one. Oh, look, there's the AXN. Yeah, buy the AXN. Uh, fantastic uh, model. Uh, I know so many people who have learned to fly with the AXN floater jet. Brilliant model. Oh, and it also slopes really well too. So yeah, really, really cool model. Uh, yeah, I'm not, oh, there, there's the S-Back. That was the one which I mentioned earlier, which, yeah. If you want, how, how do I phrase this? The S-Back is uh, a great model. Don't knock, me, don't knock me on it, but you're, for that's 40 quid, we'll say, or well, 37 quid, the ME109, Okay, and the Hummer 3D is all basically the same model. Okay, that's just the easiest way of explaining it. Uh, the Hummer 3D uh, takes a while to set up because you need to attach the rudder uh, and the, the get these red bars along the side and fit the wings in and stuff like that. Whereas one of these are, are much simpler. Uh, and yeah, if you're... Uh, I had to try to explain this. If you're tempted by this one, save yourself a good tenner or so uh, and go for the ME109 or the Hummer 3D instead because they're all basically the same models. Scrolling down, yeah, not likely. Uh, Guppy, oh, yeah, have you seen this? I, I, it's going to have to go on sale before I buy one, buy one of these. And Let me get rid of some of these tabs. Looks like really, really good fun. Okay, for a slope glider, that's for sure. It's a tea towel, and as we know, tea towels have issues with uh, portability, uh, getting to, getting them to the flying site and back again. Uh, besides that, I if it was a bit cheaper, and I know it's a bit of a kit, okay, and I really don't like kits, but I do kind of like that little thing. So. Yeah, that's probably the only bolster kit which I've seen so far which would tempt me, but I'm not buying it for 40 quid. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, the Radjet. Oh, 
No, I, I know Craig loves this model, um, but you can fly it slow. You've got to pretty much fly it on full throttle all the time. And mine is so much out of trim. The right Elevon is up, oh, I don't know, about three, four mil all the time just to get it to fly straight. I, I In the beginning, I thought the Rajet was a really good model, but now I'm a little bit more seasoned. No, no, I wouldn't buy another one. If I stuffed mine in tomorrow, uh, I'd have just been it. To be frankly honest, I wouldn't buy. I wouldn't buy a replacement. Uh, scrolling down, we've got another 3D plane. As we've seen, that there are some other 3D models further down, which are an awful lot cheaper. So we're going to skip those two. Mm. Skip that one. Uh, the Sky Fun. Uh, I've. I know some. Oh, uh, what's his name? Ian up at one of the model clubs. He's got one of those. Uh, and he, sm he actually smashed up his first one and testament to, to, it, the, to the model. He went on and bought another one uh, pretty much straight away. He was quite upset when he stuffed his in. Uh, they are pretty big. They are really, really quite big. Let me move this across so we can have a nose. What's the wingspan on this one? Uh, it's got to be a uh, length wingspan. Yeah, about 875. So it is pretty, it's quite a big model to be fair. And it's got a lovely great big hold in there. It could potentially make a semi mid range model if you were going to set it up with FPV. It just doesn't do it for me. So um, I'm never likely to buy one, especially at 42 quid. Um, I know that's underneath the 50 quid buffer, but I'm not likely to, to buy that one. Uh, and then let's go have a look at the next two. Uh, let's open that second one up first. Yeah, it looks really pretty. Don't think it would last very long with me, to be honest. Uh, and again, look, if you think about all the other models which we saw of a similar design uh, and a similar size, this one is heavily overpriced, okay, compared to the others. Uh, that's the only way to which I can look at it. Yes, I know it's got a nice paint job on it and it's got some extra fins and stuff in it. But with that said, compared to all the other ones, you could pretty much get one of these. You could have two of the other ones for price of one of these. So let's get rid of that. Oh, and this one did turn up uh, in the comments. Uh, the one thing which I've not seen this one fly, but I've seen one of a similar uh, uh, structure uh, ball, uh, flying at the, one of the flying sites. And I tell you what, this back uh, area where the motor goes, I'm just seeing if we can, yeah, that's a better shot. This back area, because the motor, you can either mount it hanging out the back or inside, uh, it does keep the noise down on this model. Uh, so you can put a real screamer of a motor in there. And because it's got this plastic shroud on top, uh, it really does cut the, no uh, cut the noise down. But for me personally, nah. It, it's, I, I know it's got a fantastic paint, well, uh, color scheme on it. And it does look rather cool. But 42 quid doesn't really have any like wow factor. Um, for me and that nose area looks really like it's going to dig in the grain so yeah tell you what i'm going to stop there because we've been through a lot of models this morning i'm just checking the timer down there that was 18 minutes or 19 minutes or so so if you have any of the models which i wasn't able to pass a comment on please do share your experience and, and again if you own them uh, do share your experiences with them the same as the like Rajet if you ever owned a Rajet how did you get on with yours uh, and so on and so forth that do let me know I'd be super curious is there a model in here which uh, if you could only fly one model for the rest of your life which model would it be out of that choice do let me know in the comments section underneath this episode and for myself Matt thank you for joining me for a cup of this morning and I'll see you about the same time tomorrow morning. So as always, from myself, Matt, cheerios.